lucky hit, just to prove that, how many moles of each? 0 0.0005, and I'll divide by 0 0.095, and I'm finding a molarity here of 0 0.00526, big M. 0 0.0045 divided by 0 0.095 liters gets me 0 0.04737 big M molar units. All right, so here we go. pH is found by taking pKa, and pKa is just negative log of the Ka value, and I think I'll just write that directly. Negative log of the Ka provided, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. plus the log of the ratio of base over acid. We may choose to put 0 0.0045 over 0 0.0005, or we could put in the molarity units, and I bet we find the same answer. The molarity of the base, the conjugate base, is the sodium acetate, 0 0.04737 molar. Over the concentration left of the acid after most of it was consumed, we have 0 0.00526 molar of the acid. Let's hit for the pH of our solution. pH is equal to pKa plus the log of the ratio of base over acid. Let's hit and see what we find. So negative log of 1.8 E negative 5 plus the log of the ratio of 0 0.04737 divided by 0 0.00526. And our pH is giving us, for two pH units, 5.699, I'll say 5.70 pH units. Just to satisfy ourselves, let's rehit not using molarity, but leaving it in terms of mole numbers, just to prove to ourselves that that would factor out. If negative log of the pKa here, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, plus the log of the ratio of base, 0 0.0045, over acid, 0 0.0005, can be used directly to find the pH. Let's hit it the other way and compare the work. So, again, negative log of 1.8 E negative 5 plus the log of the ratio of base over acid, 0.0045 over 0 0.0005. Instead of using molarity, we're just simply putting the number of moles, and we get 5.698. Indeed, the same answer, 5.70 pH units. So, eliminating the step of dividing by additive volume still reaches the same answer of a pH of 5.7. We can see that we're prior to the equivalence point. Strong base weak acid, the pH ends up to be greater than 7 at the end point, and we're not quite there by this pH reading.